Hello friends, welcome to Access Zombie Code. Let's start today's tutorial on API. So, what is API? API stands for Application Programming Interface. API can be defined as a code that helps two different software to communicate and exchange the data to each other. API is a collection of software function and procedure. Now the question is, what is two different software communicate? Let take an example to understand how the communicate happen with using a API. A user having a browser only. When he run a video on YouTube from his mobile or a laptop browser, then the user does not have any idea how the data are coming and how the video was played on a single click. Let me simplify this. As we know, all data are stored in database, which means YouTube video are also stored somewhere in the YouTube database. The help of API, a user browser, communicate to YouTube database. Let's understand with a real-time example. Nowadays, all devices are showing a features of weather forecast. How all the service provider getting the same collecting weather information? Are they putting sensor all the places to collecting the weather information? No, there is a common API who collect the weather information and storing the weather data into his database. By help of the API, we access the weather forecast database when a device calling that api then the weather forecast was displayed for us let's know type of api there are four main type of api open api partner api internal api and Composite API and API are publicly available to use like Google Authentication is open API also known as public API next is partner API a specific rights or license required to access the partner API next is internal API internal API are developed by company to use their internal system next is composite api this type of api combine different data and service api let's understand communication level of api there are two type of communication level api one is high level another one is low level these are or commonly used for http request Let's know what is the API content or what is the API format. This is a simple URL or API. API consists of method or HTTP request type, protocol, domain or subdomain, directory, and request or response. For the method, we commonly use get, put, post, or delete. For the protocol, 
they are at http and https now api blueprint why we required a blueprint of api let's understand this first as you know development is a part of the sdlc basically there are two type of developer work for developing a software one is backend developer another one is frontend developer let's take an example where we are not using api blueprint in this scenario a backend developer creating his api and frontend developer is waiting to get the ready of the api which means the frontend developer is not doing any work once the api is complete then the frontend developer start his work but backend developer is not doing any work ultimately the project delivery is getting late you can see the team lead is getting angry this is a another scenario this is another this is a another scenario of project development in this scenario both front end and back end developer working at the same project but the problem is front end developer was not any idea about the actual api re request payload and response of the api and api developer which means a backend developer does not have any idea what is the code of the frontend developer and what the frontend developer required on his request or his payload ultimately the project is getting delay so here also the team lead is getting angry so one of the solution is api blueprint with the help of api array we can create a api blueprint document let understand on api array when you open api array first time in the editor box you will get a dummy template of api i already create a sample blueprint of api array let understand this the api array documentation always start with the format and host name here i add a my version of the api is v1 you can see this is a single hash this is a double hash this is a triple hash what is the mean of hash single hash keyword used for heading of the documentation double hash keyword used for controller level of the url mapping and triple hashtag used for method level url mapping for more understanding of the document i mentioned all the allowed method and server response code these are the response code of the server and this is the allowed http request type so my control level annotation is student and my method post method so for cre create a student i use post method in the header i put authorization of the user who create this student in the body the new student data is mentioned so the response of the api is if the data is saved successfully then it will show a message with student name and student roll number else if there is some bad request or unauthorized request so i i mention 400 401 or 
फाइव डबल जीरो एज अ एरर मैसेज ऑफ द क्रिएटिंग मेथड लाइक द क्रिएट स्टूडेंट मेथड देर इज एन अदर मेथड इज गेट ऑल स्टूडेंट मेथड हेयर आई यूज गेट द रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ गेट ऑल स्टूडेंट मेथड इज ए मैसेज एंड ए हेर ए लिस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स इफ देर इज नो स्टूडेंट और देर इज सम ए फेलोअर मेसेज विल शो आई यूज फोर जीरो जीरो फोर जीरो वन फोर जीरो फोर लाइक गेट ऑल स्टूडेंट मेथड आई हैव ए गेट सिंगल स्टूडेंट मेथड हियर ऑल्सो द मेथड रिक्वेस्ट टाइप इज गेट एंड रिक्वेस्ट यू आर एल पैरामीटर इज स्टूडेंट रोल नंबर एंड रिक्वेस्ट हेडर इज ऑथेंटिकेशन बियर टोकन एंड द रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ द रिक्वेस्ट इज ए स्टूडेंट ऑब्जेक्ट विथ है मैसेज दिस इज द सिंगल स्टूडेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मेथड वेर आई यूज रिक्वेस्ट टाइप एंड माई पैरामीटर इज स्टूडेंट रोल नंबर विथ रिक्वेस्ट बॉडी वे द मॉडिफाइड डेटा मैंशन इन द रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ द मेथड लाइक अपडेट मेथड आई हैव द लास्ट मेथड इज डिलीट सिंगल स्टूडेंट इन द सिंगल स्टूडेंट मेथड माई रिक्वेस्ट पैरामीटर इज ए स्टूडेंट रोल नंबर इन माई रिक्वेस्ट हेडर हेज ए ऑथेंटिकेशन टोकन एंड आफ्टर डिलीटिंग द यूजर फ्रॉम द डेटा वेज द रेस्पॉन्स विल यू कम द स्टूडेंट इज डिलीट सक्सेसफुली If something went wrong, then the response like four zero zero, four zero one, or four not four, or five double zero. This is the my documentation of student crowd. Let's check how our document was ready. This is my documentation of student crowd. In the introduction section, there is a heading of allowed HTTP request. As we already mentioned, so let's check our API. How it will work? So creating a student. Let's try my creating student as a request body. So this is the request body of creating student. And in my header, I am sending a pure token. So let's call this API. In the response of the API is a message with a student roll number and student name because the my student data is already saved on my database. So let's check an another API. In this API, here also a authorized token and there is no body and no parameter to get all the student list. So call this API. This is the list of the students. For single student, my student roll number I have to mention in the parameter of the URL. So except the URL parameter, there is no body content. So let's call this API. The response of the API is successfully get a student and the student data. Like get, I have a delete and update. In the delete, in the delete case, I have to mention the student roll number. So the student is delete successfully. For get all student, I can check also this API from another browser. Or another website. So, see, this is the output of the API. So, all the API are working fine for now. That's it. Hello, friends. 
I hope today you learn something. If you guys find it helpful, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and comment to get more solution videos.